Hello, my name is Nigel Church of Cutting Edge Training, a division of Ransoms Jacobson Limited. Today we're going to talk about the sharpening of reels and bed knives. We've chosen in particular a cutting unit which is very, very old and looking quite poor. However, by the end of this exercise we should see a cutting unit which will cut nicely and cleanly. So the process that we'll be following will be doing the necessary checks to ensure we end up with a successful cutting unit assembly. We will check the reel to make sure it's not cone shaped. We will check the bearings that the reel are mounted on to make sure that they are in good condition and running freely. We'll check the bed knife and put on the correct angle that it requires when it's finally ground and we'll reassemble the cutting unit to then make sure we get a nice crisp clean cut of the paper we'll use for the final setting up procedure. Whilst we've taken an old cutting unit and just spun ground it, what we haven't done is put relief on the spiral blades. This is a brand new cutting cylinder and it has a 45 degree relief on the back of those spiral blades, leaving us with a one millimeter land area there at the cutting edge. This gives us a crisp clean cut and of course reduces any friction and heat, reducing power requirements on the machine and also ensuring longer life of the cutting edges. That would be covered in a separate subject requiring a grinder with different attributes to enable us to get that relief grind. So to assist me in today's setting up and grinding of this cutting unit, I have my colleague here, Phil. He's one of our demonstrators and before then he actually ran the workshop which set up the machinery prior to it going out on demonstration. To start the process, we'll first remove the bottom block and blade assembly. This is located uh, by two taper bolts on this particular type of cutting unit and then once removed we will back off the opposing screws that will normally adjust the blade to the cutting cylinder. Once these components have been removed we can then take out the bottom block and blade assembly, clean it up and inspect it to make sure there is no damage. Of course, we've worked on the basis that the blade does have some life left in it, ready for a regrinding process. This will be carried out and we'll grind the front edge of the blade, putting on a five degree relief. And then we will grind the top edge of the blade, putting on a 10 to 15 degree relief, depending on the bottom blade that we are grinding. Once the grinding process is finished, we'll give it a quick check over and then remove any rough edges with a piece of hardwood just rubbed up and down the lip of the blade to remove any burrs that may be there. The cutting unit bearings now need checking. These ones happen to be pre-loaded to make sure that everything's working successfully and also that the bearings are spinning freely. We're now going to refit the bottom block and blade assembly because we can use this to check that the cylinder is not conical in shape. And by refitting the bottom block and blade assembly and not using the adjusters that would normally set the two together, we can allow the bottom block and blade to literally lay against the reel and see if we have even contact all the way along. If we have contact at one end and there is a gap at the other end, we then know we have a conical cylinder. And illustrated here, putting a feeler gauge in one end is very, very tight, but at the other end we have quite a large gap. We actually found on this unit, we were about two millimeters out from one end to the other. So when grinding the cutting unit in situ, we will actually compensate for this and get the cylinder back to a straight and parallel shape. With the bottom block and newly ground blade in situ that backed off from the reel, we'll now set the uh, cutting unit up ready for its grinding process. In setting it up on the uh, machine, 
we will compensate for the fact that we know it's actually cone shaped so we'll obviously start to take off the higher end of the cutting cylinder first to finally end up with a parallel cutting cylinder assembly. So cutting unit assembly nicely sharp and ground, bottom blade nicely sharpened and ground as well. We've now set our bed knife or our bottom blade to our cutting cylinder and we have a nice clean cut. So hopefully you found this informative. We've taken a cutting unit which is by no means new, an old unit that we found in a shed, wouldn't cut grass, wouldn't cut paper, and through the process that we've done using Phil here to go through all the aspects of setting up the blade, regrinding the cylinder, we now have a cutting unit that we could take out and use on the golf course and give us a good quality of cut to that grass, a nice clean cut, no damage to the leaf tip, and we'll end up with a nice healthy sward having reground cylinder and blade. Thank you. Mm -hmm.